you know, I think as a society, we have this idea that a successful relationship is one that lasts forever, happily ever after. But I think that a successful relationship is one in which both people speak their absolute truth, are authentic, and communicate that to each other. And if that means that the relationship needs to transition into something else, then that's a successful relationship. Right, I think right. people will kill themselves to try to make a relationship good on paper and like be happy, you know what I mean? And that's not successful. You could be together forever and be unhappy. Or that's the not whole successful. Staying in the relationship because like, oh well, but we've put so much time in and it's been so long and da 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 and all the emotions and all that stuff. It's like then you almost feel obligated to be with somebody. Like I would yeah. never want anybody to be obligated to be with me like if it didn't like feel good like that would feel so gross yeah well it comes back down to the thing of like you either make a decision out of love or out of fear yep. Yep. so always choose love if you're staying in the right. relationship because you're scared you're going to be alone and die alone then you have to leave that relationship right that's also another aspect of what conscious relationship is. It's 100%. choosing it out of love, not out of Yeah, fear. not to fill a void. Not to fill a void and yeah, the other thing. I think I've definitely been in the, uh, I would almost say pseudo-conscious relationship, you know, right. where it's got the like, the overtone of like, no, 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 this is, we're, we're going to have a conscious relationship. Right, right, right. And it's like, oh, okay, well, I sort of see that as like, let's dive deeper into ourselves and seeing, you know, both sides and all that stuff and both people taking responsibility, you know, and all these different things. And then at one point it's like, N no, it was just supposed to be you do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm fine. I'm already yeah. there. You know, that they're, yeah, that they're saying that. It's like, no, 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 no. You, you're the one that needs to work on this, this, and this. You know, And then the more that they point out all of your flaws, and I'm somebody that's like, okay, I... Right, and it sounds like they're talking to themselves. Like, to you, it sounds like they're talking about themselves. <laughs> yes. You see the bulb flickering yeah. in their projector? That's right. right. Projection. <laughs> Time, I can always take those pieces and be like, okay, how does this apply? Because we are reflections of each other. Because we are reflections of each other. But it can't, like, once it becomes right. like that's the pattern, right. you know, then they're like, they think that it's okay to just point out your things because then in some way it's almost like they're they're hiding behind their own by only pointing out yours. Do you like I feel called to like have someone in my life but at the same time I'm like you know what like there's not there's no room for that right now for me I need to be rooted in my purpose as a man and only then when I'm fully like loving myself will I have time to love somebody else yeah, yeah. it's like honoring your own space and your energy field and your own yeah. inner process yeah 100% yeah. I have to have that clear otherwise I'll attract something that's, something that's not a match to that yes yeah that's a match to you, so be clear, or just to say that a little bit more clearly for everybody, like that you will attract a match that is congruent with either those fears or the things that you feel like you're lacking. 100%, you'll always... You'll always attract an exact match to where you're at. And that's just another fun lesson that nobody's... Yeah, but nobody's like, you know what, about. Like, that's... <laughs> Taking full responsibility for your lessons is the hardest and most frustrating thing. Even as someone who knows the truth, you're just like, it's a reflection of you. And yeah, um, it's so hard to take responsibility, even when you, you're someone like who knows it, right? Like, yeah. Sometimes you're like, oh, the reflection. Like it's so easy to tell people, but when it's you, you're like, I know that's it's a reflection, but like this one's different. I swear. <laughs> It can't be a reflection of me. And then you're like, oh yeah, it totally is. Like, you're like, no, that one was a projection, I swear. Yeah.
Thank you so much for watching Seeking Serotonin. I'm Sarah Delane, your conscious lifestylist, guiding you on your path to holistic health and empowered living. If you've enjoyed watching these videos, please subscribe below. And remember, you can visit sovereign-alliance.com for my line of energy tools and fashionable frequency jewelry. Or to book a personal one-on-one -on -one conscious lifestylist consultation, please visit seekingserotonin.com. See you on the next episode.